but one thing that I want to tell you that no one really tells you you don't need to be feeling like a half. Me and my first boyfriend had a lot of conflict because it was such a big drama at the time. friends and welcome back to my channel he's really not excited to be on camera so i wanted this video to be kind of like me talking to you guys who are just starting your first relationships sharing with you guys the things that i wish i had known before my first relationship because there were definitely a lot of things that i didn't know and i didn't expect that i would even know and before we get into this video if you guys like content on relationships how to get someone to like you self-love confidence and reaction videos then consider subscribing to this channel after watching this video let this be your free trial <laughs> So the first thing that I definitely wasn't aware of and I didn't know when I got into my first relationship was that different people have different love languages and different definitions of what love is. Me and my first boyfriend had a lot of conflict because what I wanted from him didn't match up to what he wanted from me. In a relationship, I needed to hang out way more than he did. I used to think that he didn't like me as much just because he didn't give me that many compliments while in his opinion, it wasn't really needed there. So so if you have one definition for something that someone should do in a relationship, it might not match exactly the definition of the other person. The next realization is about jealousy. Being in my first relationship made me realize how to actually stop feeling jealous forever over anyone. And here's what it is. When you are with the person, that person chooses to be with you. Just by being with another girl, his opinions will not change if he loves you and if he likes you that much. But if his opinions do change, then that just means, first of all, if your person is the person whose feelings are going to change that easily, then they're literally not the person that you should be spending your time on, you know? And secondly, you can't really control people's feelings. So no matter what you do, and by getting jealous, you will be pushing the person away even further. Okay, this one that I learned is more like the tips that we usually talk about on our channel, which is a psychology tip. So basically, do not ever, if you aren't happy about something, you know this tendency that couples have when they're fighting and one person just goes like, so you want to break up, huh? Just expecting the other person to be like, no, I want to break up or whatever. If you bring up a breakup during a fight or whenever, what you're doing in that moment that person might not even want to break up with you but if you bring it up you plant a seed in their subconscious mind and they start thinking about it and then you might make it more likely that you guys are going to break up it's like i was telling myself i wouldn't do it but i did it anyway and always know not to do this thing but then somehow when you get into a relationship you get so caught up with that person this one time i literally skipped my best friend's birthday who I hadn't seen in almost a year just to hang out with my boyfriend who I hung out with every single day anyway. Your relationship might or might not end pretty soon, especially if it's a first relationship and your friends are the ones who are going to have to deal with you after the breakup, dude. So show some respect. Hi, editing intervention. So before we get into this next tip, I wanted to say that don't ever feel pressure to do something if you're in a relationship if the person you're dating is pressuring you it's a sign that you shouldn't be dating that person and that they don't respect your boundaries and with that let's get into the next tip <laughs> the fifth thing is something y'all are probably waiting for i'm going to talk about but not as openly because my family watches this channel yeah we don't want to get in weird up in here but one thing that i want to tell you that no one really tells you and all the movies plant this expectation in your head that like all of your firsts are gonna be amazing no one knows what the hell they're doing no one knows where and how the hell what goes <laughs> literally i remember me and my boyfriend sitting on a bench and thinking about breaking up just being like well nothing's working out dude it was such a big drama at the time it was like what the hell was going on if you haven't seen the movie first time with dylan o'brien like literally 
that that was it. Sometimes it is terrible. Sometimes it will be bad, especially if it's the first relationship for you and the first relationship for the person. So do not freak out if something doesn't work out. It doesn't mean you're incompatible. It doesn't mean the relationship is bad. A lot of us actually get into a relationship or stay in a relationship because we don't want to be alone. And honestly, you should never, ever, ever settle for anything less than you want because it's not going to satisfy you. And at the same time, if you don't settle and you keep going, trust me, the right person will pretty much be the next stop from there. As girls, we usually, or at least me, I'm that kind of person. As a kid, whenever I would get sad, my family would immediately fulfill anything I wanted or take me shopping. So when I grew up, I now have this like really terrible way of coping with me not being happy about a situation. And the same went for my relationship. If my boyfriend did something that I was unhappy about or if something was bothering me, I would give cues and really say what what I wanted straight up which just led to so much conflict so if you're in a relationship if you're unhappy with something talk with the other person if something is bothering you talk with the other person because I'm sorry guys girls anyone who you're in a relationship with is not a mind reader well unless they have like a really rare gift of a really active third eye or whatever okay this next thing that I want to tell you guys is a belief that a lot of people have about relationships it is that being with the other person is going to complete you and you're going to find your other half and that getting into a relationship will solve your problems now when i got into my relationship all of my problems stayed and being with the person didn't really fix anything at all at the same time you don't need to be feeling like a half you are a whole that sounded so wrong you are a whole I'm not gonna say it. You don't need to be feeling like a half because if you feel like a half, as soon as that person leaves, you're gonna feel incomplete again and you're gonna be dependent on that person. While if you feel complete yourself, you're not gonna get as jealous, you're not gonna get as possessive, which we all know really repels a lot of people. So I hope this video helped you guys gain some perspective for those of you who are going into their relationships. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you, bye!